Good morning, Cybertraders! Happy Wednesday, June 5th. Beautiful day here in New York. Looks like I'm not going to be going to the Met game tonight. Looks like we're raining, but other than that, I'm here here to trade. Good to see you. Ken, good to see you. Bone, good to see you. Michael, Phil, Dana, Deb. Good to see you. Gary, Lewis, Grant, good to see you, everybody. All right, having a hell of a morning with the RW. LK was one of the uh, one that was actually the first stock uh, that I posted uh, at 7:48 a.m. this morning as the the best stock to trade in pre-market. Uh, there's a lot of stocks actually this morning that are moving, but listen, we did it again, 232 percent. You know what? You saw you could see it right here when uh, you had up until oh geez, let me just change this slide right here. Uh, let me just fix this time frame. Make it a little bit easier to read, but you had all the way up until about 8:45 to jump into the stock. And um, let me tell you, I'm looking at I'm looking at the level four right now. I'm not seeing any sellers out there. You know, I just saw a big seller get taken out at 11:26. You know, um, there's buyers all over around 11, 10:90. You know, the buyers a little bit all in those areas. But let me tell you, what a what a fun stock, man! You guys really really killed it on this one. Um, you know what? This is what we train for. Now, listen, you know what? The other thing about this, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it, um, you know, and we'll get into it. But as of right now, a lot of you guys did really well on it. And uh, just give you a little bunch of you who made money this morning, a big round of applause. All right, so let's talk about what happened yesterday, and we'll go through the watch list because I got a hell of a big list today, especially more on the short side, more than on the long side. But uh, a couple of stocks that moved really well. Listen, the market was on fire yesterday, so we, you know, uh, the Dow was up, you know, over four over four hundred points. What do we have going on there with the Dow regarding? They said they're going to probably low interest rates. You know, I told you this that it's healthy. That they raise in, uh, that they raise interest rates because sometimes they might they might need to lower it and you know we it was at zero you can't lower it anymore when you're at zero you understand so they raised it um, listen if they never raise it the Powell knows the Dow could have probably been at thirty thousand who knows but at the, but you know it's healthy that they raise it a lot of people don't like to hear that but now they might they might lower it be due to the tariffs so there you go you're having a great situation there. And that's one of the reasons why the market's up. So hopefully you guys learning as being a professional day trader that, you know, this is these are the things that you have to understand how it affects the market. Now, um, you know, but, but AMD, I know a lot of you guys did really, really well on that stock. Let me fix the time frame on that. So you can see that that thing just went up nicely from 28 all the way to 29.50. Um, Uber was another big winner yesterday. So I told you, I went long Uber on a swing trade, and uh, I've been watching it. been watching it for a while, you know. Um, ended up chasing it, you know, and almost got shaken out of it. But um, listen, Uber was down to 26. Everybody should have probably got around 39, 40-ish. I got right around 41. I bought it. I sold it. They shook me out. I bought it back. I'm, I'm a long-term fan of this stock. This is not a swing trade. It's more of an investment. But um, but Uber, let's see if it starts breaking out of its high. Be interesting if it gets set past 45. If it does that, the stock's off to races. So that one did pretty well. And then the SOLY, um, Jerry J, just basically has been killing it on the stock. He's always making a dollar each way. So let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Jerry. I know Jerry's not trading trading 100 shares either. He's like almost in 1,000 share lints, but that's way to go. Um, but it uh, looks like Ken's doing pretty well. You know, did pretty well on that. Give Ken. Way to go, Ken. Big round of applause to you, buddy. Way to go. All right, so let's go through the watch list. So we know about the uh, W W um the RWLK. Looks like it just uh, did a little quick little back off right here uh, on that trade right there. But listen, if if you jumped in when you're supposed to be here at 8:30 when we get the when we get that push, um, you know, if you pulled out a 50 stinking cents out of this thing on a thousand shares. You still made you $500. It was just like taking candy from a little kid on this one. You just have to be at the right place at the right time. Remember, early bird gets the money. So that one's back on the watch list. SRRA is another one that's going to make on the watch list right here too. Nice little cheapy. Stock took a little bit of a hit um, from 220. It's up a little bit um, so far. A lot of orders. Look at 40,000 share orders there 
on the level three, you get nice big iceberg orders up 20%, 6 million shares. This could be right up the alley for, uh, up the alley for a beginner trader. This one's not terrible. CRON, you know, you keep hearing them talking about the pot stocks making a big, uh, big thing uh, that's going on with pot stocks. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're going to start making a little bit of a comeback. I don't know. But, but, uh, but you know, CRON looks like it's doing pretty well, starting to make a little bit of a bounce. Be careful. These stocks are really not day trades, though. The, you know, these pot stocks are like long-term trades. Um, just got to get at a good price. But that CRON is doing pretty well. Uh, let me talk about the SOLY, by the way. Let me bring that one up. So SOLY, just guys, just keep an eye on this thing is very volatile. I know you've seen somebody like, like Jerry did pretty well on that stock. But this stock is very, very volatile. It's got nasty shakes. You got to be really, really careful trading the stock SOLY. IF. RX is another one talking about getting crushed, crushed. I mean, destroyed. When's the last time you saw a stock? You wake up the next morning, it's down literally almost 90%. 90%. You want to hold overnights? Listen, stock hasn't done a damn thing. Look at that flat line. You wake up one morning and there it goes. Let me tell you one thing that that's a very I feel bad for people. I, I really feel bad for people who own the stock. I mean, it's that's not right. I really it's really not right. I feel terrible. But listen, that's the name of the game. You think you're in some expensive stock, you think like, ah, it, it, it can't happen to me. You know what? You know, unfortunately these things do happen and you know, and you know what? Doesn't look like it's uh, looks like it's not bouncing. If you look at that chart right there, it just literally, it looks like it's just breaking lower lows. You know, so uh, we all know about the HMNY, right? Remember that stock was at 16. Where did it go to? Uh, half of a penny. It could happen. By the way, there's a few more out there, just not just like this one, and we'll talk about it, like GameStop. And I told you guys about that stock a while ago. Let's look up CCXI. OK, here's another one down 30 percent, getting really crushed here. So another one, eleven dollars down to seven. Big spread, though. Not really that many shares being traded. You know, here we go. We have another stock, maybe a dead cat bounce, maybe another short. So, so far, the trend is down. E uh, EXK, another one um, up a little bit right here. Stock, uh, like I said, took a little bit of a hit, but it's up a little bit. I'll keep an eye on it. You know, it's up nine percent. A little bit on the cheaper side. You got some good volume. 10,000 share buyers sitting there at a buck 92. That one's not bad. Let's go to GameStop. Now, I told you about GameStop um, a long time ago. Not even long. I didn't tell you that long ago. What did I tell you? Um, about a couple of weeks ago, right? We talked about GameStop. Remember I told you GameStop? Once I heard that Microsoft is getting rid of on the new Xbox, their DVDs. Now you, you just buy all, you know, buy them online. You have to go to the, game, the store and buy these DVDs. I said it's going to crush the market, and the biggest one's going to get his GameStop. GameStop was a really good company a long time ago. They made a fortune, you know, buying games. It was just a great, you know, a brick and mortar. They're going to get destroyed, okay? Now, as a goof, you know, my gaming kids, you know, I, I have stocks for all my kids, uh, my nephews. I, remember I told you a long time ago, one of the greatest gifts you could do for grandkids or go into a first birthday. You know what? I don't know about you, what you guys do in your part of the world, but we give money, right? And I, I told my wife one day, I says, you know what? Let's stop giving, you know, the money to, let me just buy them stock. You know, hopefully I can, you know, uh, you know make that t uh, 20, 30, 40 times and, you know, maybe give them a nice little down payment on paying towards college. Because what are you going to give a guy? $400, $300, $500? You know what? I've taken some of that, some of that money for first-year-olds, and and I have, I have kids that are five, six, seven years old, and I got it to like four or five thousand. Hell of a lot better, because you know what the parents would have probably done with that money anyway. So, um, anyway, so as a goof, we shorted the stock, and my son says, "Oh, my son says, oh, you know what, GameStop's going out of business." You know, once he heard that, I'm like, you know what, I want to short in your account. He goes, "What's that?" And let me tell you, it's a great lesson to teach your kids. And, you know, he's doing great on it, you know. So, uh, but that was more of a swing trade investment. So he's doing pretty well on that short. So GameStop taking a nice hit. And if you listen to me when I told you when we spoke about it, you probably would have done the same thing. How much lower could GameStop go? Remember, 
Look what happened to see. Uh, look what's going on with IFRX or with PVTL or you know CCXI or H, uh, HTMY that we traded. Here's another one down 29%. PVTL stock. I mean, it's kind of holding here at these prices. Listen, it's not a pharmaceutical stock, so we know sometimes they do come back. It is a software company, but um, let's see if it holds right here. I'm looking here on level four. I see some big orders out there. You're know, holding up pretty well around the $13 price range. You could see them right here on the level three so we could play by so there's a lot of really good shorts out there on um, on some stocks so listen remember whatever goes up comes down twice as hard a lot of us always feel that we always have to go long listen we make a hell of a lot more money going short don't be afraid of doing it uh jerry says uh, my daughter trades with me since she was five isn't that great jerry it just you know what let me tell you something that by by teaching you kids about the stock market teaches them about society, teaching them about, you know, how the, how the, how the world works, uh, makes them appreciate a little bit more, makes them think outside the box. And let me tell you something, unfortunately, I don't like, I want to bash the, the, the school industry, but they don't teach this stuff. They don't teach this stuff, you know, and let me tell you, it, it really helps them with math. It helps them with, you know, with uh, uh, science, social studies, because we live with this every day. So if that's the case, you know, why not show them? And it's, it's just an educational thing. Yes, Disney's a name brand. You're right. And, and, you know, they go to Disney and understand it's like, oh, look, I just contributed to the stock. By the way, um, I hope a lot of you got out of, got out of RWLK because that thing just tanked. That thing just came down like a tank. Listen, can't go broke taking profits. All right. That's right, Jerry. Always make them think outside the box. All right, everyone. So, listen, good luck today. Um, we'll see you back at 2.30. Man, that thing is dropping. Look at that thing coming down. Look for the dead cat bounce. Look for the dead cat bounce on this thing. Whatever that rumor is. I mean, obviously, it was not really. This thing is really tanking pretty quickly. Look, my computer even locked up. All right, guys. Good luck today. Um, good luck today. And uh, let's, see if, let's see how we do. And I'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. All right? Let's make some money.